My name is Campbell. I'm Bryce. And you are listening to God is Dead, baby. <laughs> yes, sir. This is an Austin Powers moment. Uh, this is a <laughs> podcast where um, we take everything from the world of the internet, from online, and we ask the question, do these things that we're seeing on our screens and they're just making us feel weird, does it actually prove that maybe there's no hope for humanity at all and God's dead? Now, you and I, Bryce, uh, most people describe us as, what, alpha males? Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, and we wanted to go into an alpha male deep dive mm. today. So you've brought, what, to the desk? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I was going to say to the table, but it's kind of like a shit table. <laughs> no, you've brought to this dog shit desk uh, a video. I have, and this is one that's going to be really visual. I'm just going to warn you, a great video if you want to go subscribe to our YouTube, which is in the show notes, or our TikTok or our Instagram for some visuals to play along with. But honestly... It's not really going to fit on Instagram mm. in, in a proper way. So you really want to hit the YouTube for this. It will still be able to be listened to in audio. I don't want to discourage people from that. But Oh, yeah. Or if you just want to watch the video, there'll be a link to that as well and then listen to us. Exactly. You can do that. I, I reckon that would probably be smart if you're an audio person. But the point is we don't want, um, we don't want you to go in not knowing that. It's going to be pretty, like, pausey and we're going to look at these moments I'm anticipating and... I'm just going to have to show you what happens at the top fraternity in America. Think about fraternity life. We'll explain what that is, but we're going to see it for what it really is. And hopefully at the end, we're going to want to sign up. <laughs> and as always that I've been saying lately, if you are here from either Bryce's radio or my YouTube, this is a much more, uh, I don't know, switched on version of us, I suppose. Yeah. Well, yeah. We're going to be a bit more rogue, a bit more edgy. Probably call a few more people the... The C I A P word. Yeah, that's good. That's a real possibility. There's no sanctions on us at the moment, so that's no. true. And definitely, I have a slight feeling that the guys in this video are not getting a wholesome, truthless, uh, you know, productivity. Um, how to, you know, be awesome video on there for you recommended YouTube. And I also have a feeling that they're not going on a road trip to Byron, texting in for a bit of Ruby Fields. <laughs> Maybe. Let's see how we go. God is dead. Case one. Trending houses. Trending houses. I don't know how trending houses work because I would like have thought... Like a hype house? Trend, no, well, I think it's meant to be like trending topics. Oh, yeah? Like, uh, you know, like a lot of buzz around it, oh. I guess. And so this is something we'll just sort of like dip in and out of. It's a very visual one, FYI. If you want to check us out on YouTube, the link's down below. Or if you want to see the video... App that we're um, watching and talking about, it's in the description as well. Um, or not the description, it's not a YouTube video, but you know what I mean. In the show notes, um, this is, <laughs> we're going to go to Florida State University. Yeehaw. To Pike. They're called Pike. It's the largest fraternity house in the nation. And I guess, do you want to try and explain what a fraternity is for those that are in our 11% Southern Hemisphere game? <laughs> to be inclusive. For those of you who've never seen American Pie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just like a college house, bunch of people living there. It's very, accommodation, but they're very, it's like a club that you have to be entered into. Yeah, yeah, you got to get hazed. It's super in America, American. In America, yeah. it seems like a lot more of a lifelong thing where yeah, it's like yeah, you get yeah. a job because of your frat. We can uh, come back to this, but I was actually hazed in university. So we did import some of, but not all yeah, of, nice. of the frat culture. Cool. Yeah. All right, well, let's take a look at... Um, um, Pike and this is filmed in MTV crib style adds what they say in their description is that it's, three million uh, views yeah three million views the good thing about this video is it's um they're not trying to be funny so please don't <laughs> don't laugh <laughs> all right they've got some Greek graphic design top house they've we're zooming into America from space now we're having a look at Florida this is very like spy the born ultimatum like James Bond and now yeah. we've got Pi Kappa Alpha. So this is the house. Pike, yeah. So, yeah, friggin' mansion. Okay, they've got the overly smooth gimbal shot. Hello, guys. Welcome to Delta Lambda Chapter of Pi Kappa Alpha here at Florida State University. Okay. <laughs> this was an amazing shot. So, like, <laughs> we sort of, like, come up into, like, the, the front doors of this mansion. They both open at the same time, which means you know this is, like, the ninth take of this shot. Yes. Which is always funny. And then these two, like... Expressionless. Oh, expressionless. Man, like, we're white dudes, but these guys are white dudes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, these yeah. guys, yeah. They, they got just... the, the... Americans love a fucking Chino color uh, yes. for, a, for their bottoms. Yeah. They love a the... shit Chino and a shit shoe to go with yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know and what like it a... is about that half of that country and like a fucking brown shirt with like an orange tie and they're like damn I clean up good ah! <laughs> that, that shit like um, Americans no offense you dress like absolute dog shit and 
you fucking you fucking open your mouth and it's fucking worse. Like <laughs> it is some, the most dog shit fashion I've ever seen in my fucking life. This is it. This is number zero. Yeah. No, I'm telling you, man. At uni, I would look around. I'm like, I could tell who was American. Oh, a hundred percent, dude. They don't like it's. it's the, yeah, there's like not a self awareness around the clothing or something. I don't yeah. understand it either. No, they're always I, wearing like it's so, the weirdest shit. They'll wear like jeans. And like normal shoes And then like a Under Armour fucking gym shirt Like designed to absorb sweat With like a fucking necklace over the top of it Because I'm a machine Oh my god dude And I... a back to front hat Like this motherfucker Dude I went to uni with a guy like that Uh <laughs> And he literally Every single day He'd wear these like Big khaki pants He was from New York man Yeah And like And then yeah. he'd wear A really tight black shirt And then uh, He was a Jewish fella So he had like A pretty big star of David Yeah Anyway I remember one time I went to his place I opened up the cupboard Because I was like I don't know You know He's just curious I'm like yeah. oh, What's in here and then I open it up, literally like a cartoon character, bottom row, 10 of the exact same chinos, and then top row, really? 10 of the exact same tight shirts. Oh, they love like a polo, and it's like, you know, the brown, like pointy um, formal shoes, yeah, like chino mm. pants, yeah, orange fucking tie, <clears throat> and it's just like... This guy's name's Trip for God's oh, sake. Oh, dude, that's what I was about T-R-I-P-P. to point out. T R I P P. T R I P P. And the other guy doesn't get it. Trip doesn't get a last name. Mike no, 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 McCoy no, no. gets one. The yeah, guy Mike who's McCoy's got one. Yeah. Trip anyway. looks like he's gonna bash you. Yeah, dude. They look like evil version of Dude Perfect. Yeah, and Dude mm. Perfect embody the shit American fashion. From oh, what don't I, they just? From what I remember in my head. <laughs> I listened to a podcast about. Uh, they were on the How I Built This Show. You know the the one where they talk about business stories. Oh, anyway, no, Dude crazy. Perfect story. I will save you forty five minutes. Is yeah, we have rich parents and they helped us <laughs> <laughs> all right let's go on with the video <laughs> just him saying it and i'm trip and i'm trip <laughs> i'm trip and, he, and that's about as much as you can muster See, these, take nine so these, just, these, just say i'm trip just oh fucking say God, i'm trip oh don't try to say anything fancy don't be like i'm the vice president just say i'm trip to have a dude who watches fast and the furious and goes yeah yeah <laughs> yeah and you can tell they're like they're stiff as fucking rods and this guy's particularly well they're both they look determined it's like i get that not everyone staunch the camera natural steez is to be on the camera but like guys you're not you're trying to welcome people into your home imagine if someone pulled up on the front door like this can you imagine <laughs> what's up i'm trip what's like, up what's up yeah on. i didn't shoot up the school i became an athlete yeah. <laughs> Turn the music down too. Trip's fucking struggling. Or just give him some subtitles. Trip's yeah. been told to fucking stage whisper apparently. Yeah. The largest in the nation. Oh, Woo! man. And you, you just know that like the editor was like, look at this drop because that's when the... <laughs> <laughs> And Kicks here we in. have some of that shit American fashion. Listen, just because you got muscles doesn't hide the fact that these are plaid fucking board shorts <laughs> with a fucking pair of whatever on your head and the American flag shorts with the white sunnies, Wh the whatever shit, the shit cotton on design. Of are. <laughs> dude, I'm telling you. Oh, like dude, Oakley's. wait till you hear about what a dream girl is, by the way. Man, yeah, this is hectic. So, yeah, I mean, we're just seeing around. basically like montage shots of them partying and, and way too many girls for like you consider it's an all male thing and they're trying to show like no no girls come here like, like yeah bruh there's we, heaps of girls dude there's so many chick dude we are not gay yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dude there are so many girls bro yeah, dude, yeah, yeah. like gay thoughts are just a normal thing that you have in college it's, it's dude, cool totally totally dude, it's so cool all right we got a couple with 253 active brothers we're one of the largest fraternities in the country <laughs> oh dude can we just see Chino check. All it's right, all right. fucking chinos. Once again, I know you and I and brown aren't exactly fucking shoes. the most diverse group, but holy shit, hundred of these fellas, and they are all identical. You know those memes that are like, you know, all white guys look the same. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Dude, this is this. They're all even like roughly the same height. That front row in particular, one, two, three, four, five, like. I'm sorry, fellas, but it's just not happening. I was going to say, if you cut it into three, shoot, root, marry. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come back there, though. I, I just realized that that's a terrible podcast because you need to see the image. The visuals here are so important, but... But, like, check it out on Instagram or on YouTube. That's but, it. like, we're doing our best, so you can listen to this. You know, you know what? Damn, they clean up good. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> Damn, uh, Doctor Who pose or whatever oh! it is, like um, Barney Stinson fucking pose. Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn, suit up. Um, I'm the third guy from Suits. <laughs> I'm the third Suits, guys. Guys, we're all the third Suits. Harvey moment. Yeah. <laughs> Epic. 
the trophy room. It's called it, a Smythe trophy, by the way. All the yucky. It just sounds a little. Um, I just hate it. Sounds a little. Um, what's Batman's like enemy or whatever? Uh, um, the guy who gets his face burned. Oh, the I don't know. The blonde guy. <laughs> Do I look like half a his fucking face? Nerd? Remember that scene where he like turns around? Or is it the Joker? I don't know what his name is, but it's like that shit. Or the Sandman from the third one? Oh no no no! It's from the one with the Heath Ledger Joker. No, 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 no. I don't know. They're very like the Smythe <laughs> Trophy is what the guys in fucking the social network, the Winklevoss twins would be competing for. You know we what I mean? We should just get it wrong. We should just get it wrong. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I do. I think I said a Spider-Man villain. <laughs> <laughs> You're echoing, cunt. Dude. Chill out. Come on, Mike McCoy. Take, take this to the Beats room. I gotta say, I do admire how big college football is over there. Yeah, I really like the like sort of like institution around Everyone college sports. Everyone gets behind it. Or like March awesome Madness with basketball. It's like, yeah. yeah, this is great. This is great. Like it's it's almost like in just the crowd has definitely got you know the people they bash still come to the game, <laughs> which is like pretty fucking actually kind of powerful, I guess. Don't hold me. Oh that, man, obviously. how good's Mike McCoy's swagger? How good's Mike McCoy doing the um, planned walk into the room? He's thinking, do this, do this, do this, do this. <laughs> with his chino shorts, knee length, of course. Oh man. <laughs> look at the look at the way they're walking. It's like mm. they're going to they're circling prey. They're yeah. gonna kill you. I don't know. Also, um, what chapter is? Is that religious? I don't. I feel like a chapter. chapter. Yeah, it's like a branch of the frat, I suppose. I don't know. We conduct our meetings here, at least. Oh, backwards walk, trip. Honestly, trip here. Uh, this is the face. You know, a guy like when you know a guy's wanting to hit you at a party, like, right? This is like just before he hits you. Mm-hmm, like when he's kind of looking mm-hmm. and sizing you up and then he realizes he's funnier than me and he's <laughs> my girlfriend is laughing at him. Time That's to laugh. Look. Yeah, time to punch you. That's the guy that heckles you at a comedy show. This is the guy who the would the nerds were stealing his girl. Hell yeah. <laughs> Not really. Women are a prize. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. Fuck. <laughs> Welcome to Pike. <laughs> Welcome to Pike. <laughs> Oh, the Legends Room. The Legends Room. Oh, this is so cringe. <laughs> that's chi- that, that's Tripp's biggest what do you, sentence what do you today. Just walk in here and look at it. Yeah, like what's going on? The Legends. And, and what room. are we seeing? A bunch of dudes on horses. Uh oh, Was really that a old president? old football picks, probably. Yeah, probably. This music is so annoying. It's so loud. They read a lot into the Legends Room. They've had some yeah. guys go to the NFL from the frat. Woo! Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, go Ronald. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Can't hear a word of that. <laughs> Genuinely can't hear. <laughs> no, like, like, little, like, the Kill Bill alarm. Yeah. <laughs> That's the sample. Do the beat and I'll try and talk. All right, ready, ready. <laughs> so here at our Pike chapter, we actually have a dream room. And the thing about the dream room is actually that a lot of our legends are here in the dream room. And we're going to have... It's uh, called yeah. Pike's Illustrated. <laughs> Yeah, they're showing us like magazine covers and like the magazine covers like admittedly look cool, but like the sound design, if if that's as frenetic as you guys can hear, imagine like the visual direction here. It's like camera coming in for the curve. Okay, now we're going to fade this here. It's like, man, just like, just hold on something. Just like, just let me absorb it. And the little, um... Uh, NASA slash also iPhone airdrop sound effects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Ryan Reynolds here. <laughs> when in Rome, I gotta, do, I gotta get my ass kicked. Uh oh. That guy's more like Beta Romeo. Uh, selfie. <laughs> Ooh, that stinks. <laughs> I should not have had that hot dog. Well, when in Rome, I guess. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is where they have the Pike Dream Girl who gets selected to like. Embody the values of Pike. Actually. Oh, it's just a magazine. Okay, great. Oh, great work. Dream Girl thing. Oh, Pike okay. Boy. Pike Boy. They have Pike Boy magazine. Oh, so it's like a Playboy type thing. Or is it just a pun? And that's just like, yeah. 
No, 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 that's not I don't, saying. I don't yeah, think yeah, they, they have they, separate publications. They just base, they, they make a magazine for everything and then they'll call oh. it like Pike Illustrated or Pike Boy, I think. Oh, okay. okay I don't know. That's a lot it, of effort it. to have like three parodies going at the same time. I don't know, bro. This is Pike. This is Pike. They're the biggest fraternity in the in the world. Okay, so they got Back that. Back in the day, Pike used to have little sisters. They actually even had a pledge trigger. Well, nowadays we have a Pike Dream Girl. And then for some reason, Zap is here. <laughs> Z-A-P-P. Hell yeah, Zap. G-R-I-P-P so, How we got Trip zapping? Michael McCoy. <laughs> Mike, Mike McCoy. I'm pretty sure this what is where they... What happened to Trip? They used to say they like used to mentor women or protect them or something. Uh, Pike Dream Girl is a girl from the sorority that we vote on as a brotherhood and we feel best represents our fraternity. Whether it's being on the cover of Pike's Illustrated or having 200 personal bodyguards, Pike Dream Girl's got it made. There she is right now. Whoa. Hey, guys. Hi, I'm Alex. I'm the 2015 Pike Dream Girl. I honestly love representing the most prestigious fraternity here at FSU. No matter if it's painting a table for tailgates, setting up an Easter egg hunt, or a dance club. <laughs> A little editing joke. So in Premiere, if you use something called like a warp stabilizer, which is when you've got really shaky footage, if you haven't <laughs> used that warp stabilizer yet, you'll have that screen that we just saw. And if you export it, you come up with that error. I know it's like not important. What, what error? Dude, check this shit. Oh! <laughs> Quick analyze to begin because it has to analyze the footage before it like, you know, stabilizes it within the frame. Uh, just a little, just a little editing Someone's note. drunk as fuck trying to film the, the ping pong table or the beer pong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scholars, leaders, athletes, but gentlemen. Yeah, basically, this girl is giving us more pike propaganda. Yes, does that seem a little bit? I don't forced? like like I just, it feels wrong. Something oh, uh, feels wrong. What, what's me? I don't get is like it's not high school. It's university. I get in high school. You used to talk like that. Like it's so awesome being house captain where I get to lead team cheers for athletics carnivals and all this stuff. But. Does this shit, does, does this Pike Dream Girl walk into a job interview after this and kind of go, um, hey guys, I, I was super involved. Like, they guess, I guess they like co career shit, but it's like Apple going to be like, damn, you painted and like you set up Easter egg hunts? <laughs> Yo, like, I don't you, know. you can I lead a team. Extra, extracurricular, but like, you know, I'm not trying to take away from the Pike Dream Girl responsibilities here. No. I just think it's weird that there's like 200 dudes who are the personal bodyguard of this one girl. That's the funny bit as well, because the, the bodyguard certainly didn't go to bodyguard uh, dressing school. No. With the grey suit with the black pants. Oh, no, they're more like the bodyguard, you know? Yes, <laughs> yeah, yes. or like, like the hitman's bodyguard. The bodyguard who's trying to fuck you yeah, every yeah, yeah. five minutes. Yes, though, obviously. yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bodyguard who we need a bodyguard from. Yes. Yeah, without a doubt. Setting up an Easter egg hunt or doing stuff for the holidays. It's just great to be the dream girl. Um, I actually just got you guys Chick fil A on my way here. If you want to. Oh, sweet. Awesome. Thank yeah, you. Awesome. What did she get them? That's what I was on the way here. She got them something. On the way, I thought it was flag. I thought I heard flag. Uh huh. If only that music wasn't so loud, huh? Yeah. If only yeah. fuck up some commas was a bit quieter. Also, I just want to criticize Zach's copy. Uh, Zap Zap's copy here. I this is this is just my personal grievance. Really don't like sentences that start with weather. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's having spent so much time in advertising, but it's whether it's this, 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 or this, it's this. <laughs> Fuck yeah. you. Yeah. Fuck that. Man, I just want collectively as 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 a planet to just abandon the weather format. A little academic moment. Sorry. 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 I'm feeling sassy. Oh, and she just walks off, and it's kind of a bit of a weird hug. And okay, we, we're walking through the pike. God, the ceiling's low. <laughs> this here's our Winslow room. Better Bananas, our Fireman's Lounge. A lot of brothers will come in here and play. Rubbing the hands together. Ha! <laughs> 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 that You're right, you're right. What is it, man? Like, what is it about these dudes? Uh, it's hard to say. Oh, uh, okay, they've got a sign behind them. What happens in the garage stays in the garage. And the five levels of something. We've got and living just, legends. Yeah, really, like, downloaded graphics pack. Yeah. Kind of graphics over the front. Oh, and they have a gaming logo to say this is where they play Xbox. Xbox. Watch football on Sunday, play cards, grab a Dr. Pepper. Out. Oh, now we have Fetty Wap on the um, <laughs> backing track. It's basically just our chill room. So, uh, what's going on, guy? Okay, this is America, isn't it? This is Shit. cool. This is cool. Um, Something about their complexion tells me they found Fetty Wap through Save That Money. <laughs> quite possibly. Yeah. Um, they've got the one of the girls wearing a Pike tank top is. Possibly like a paid actor, we don't know. <laughs> One of them sitting on the ATM. I guess oh, he was like thought that would look awesome. That does look awesome. Um, I reckon that looks heaps awesome. They've yeah, a lot of stringlets. Got a stringlet thing going on. <laughs> oh, did you see that shit of no, that guy no, with no, the, no. With the thing? Back. He's clearly saying "fuck you." Ready? Hey, what's up, 
Wait, well, watch this mouth. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, clip, uh, trip. What's his name? Trip's back. Clipper trip. Trip is it? Yep. Yep. <laughs> clip. Trippy white. <laughs> uh oh, we're going to oh, the basic room. The basic room. room. What could be in there? Is that where you bought Everyone? your clothes? <laughs> <laughs> the we whole got, college. We both just went for the low hanging fruit. <laughs> we were like, I got a joke. I got a joke. <laughs> the Chino closet. The you Chino mean? closet. <laughs> All right, we're in the basic room. Oh, now. and fuck it now, it's the other guy again. It's Zap. Dude, Zap's back. Kitchen, living room, two bedrooms, two bathrooms, washer, dryer. Look at the way he's spitting these. these I feel facts. like this guy's seen like the new wave, and I say new, it's probably like a five year old wave of like, you know, the really like swaggy <laughs> real estate agent who owns a drone. Yeah. And, and, and they'll like, you know, they'll always tell you more about the suburb and themselves and like what they're doing in their team than they will about the house. Yeah. And you're like, dude, I do not care. I do not care. I just don't care. My man's going for Lux listings, uh, <laughs> America. Cable, most importantly, two brothers. Well, most importantly, two brothers? Two brothers. It's just called two brothers. Hey, a cool dog board. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that was done without a hint of irony. Uh -huh. Holy smokes. So if you've only been audio up until now, yeah, you sorry need about this to episode if you're on the audio, but it's yeah, really I, I really to, hope we that we're painting to, a, vis a visual. But we like this, this was this was Mike McCoy's like he, it's all downhill from here. It's basically like Pike House since 1986, am I right? No, um, so yeah, Mike McCoy like finishes off Zap's list <laughs> about like we got cable, Wi-Fi, most importantly, two brothers. Now the problem with that actually not most importantly, not most importantly. So he should have gone cable, Wi-Fi. Two brothers, and then Mike, <laughs> Mike McCoy should have like knocked him down. But Mike McCoy knocked down a knockdown already, <laughs> and he goes, and most importantly, a dartboard, a bomb dartboard or whatever. And then like, boom, <laughs> he throws it. It's all in one take. But then we cut to a very actually quite a well shot close up. Yeah, no, of, no, and no analyzing. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No of the analyze. dart going straight to the bullseye, <laughs> as if like, am I the viewer of this video to believe that you had two cameras and that in one take he managed to get that? Possibly. Like, how? Can I suspend my belief? How? Yeah. How? Yeah. Mike McCoy? This is, by the way, the first. I haven't actually watched this video in full for like years, and this is the first time you're seeing it. So, so this is all coming pretty fresh to us. So, I'm sure when the more you watch this, the more details come out. So, apologies if we're missing anything. Oh. <laughs> what? What the fuck are you talking about? I don't know. So, do you know the technique ramping? Okay, so ramping. So basically, like, what's going on here is somebody's just bought a gimbal and just learned how to ramp footage. So yeah. ramping, they haven't. They've sort of done half of it. But basically, where you you would have seen it, it became really popular after the movie Three Hundred. So it's to play with the speed of the footage. So basically, imagine if I was hit, like about to like backhand slap you. The first part would be really slow, and then, and then oh yeah, do it fast and then slow again. Yeah, yeah. So I feel like there's like really amateur ramping going on in this. Where the they're one, just like, yeah. Mm. And the one thing they do that they love doing is showing instead of just cutting or like let's just show where they're walking to, but speed it up. Yeah, like put it in fast motion. I don't mind that. <laughs> I don't get to see a lot. Oh, this is the garage. Oh, like, yeah. All the cars are. The we're, parking we're, lot. And sorry. they're about to call all their youths trucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is where guys with the trucks. 59 brothers in the house. The parking lot get kind of hectic. Here's some of our favorite cars. Oh, did you hear that loop on the instrumental? Not really that important, <laughs> but funny, I guess. We start with the Range, move on to the Jeep, the Mustang, the Beamer, the Audi, another Beamer, the Mercedes. We got lifted trucks. And then my personal favorite, Porsche. They're just saying the brand <laughs> yeah. of car. They're not saying the cars. It's like he, he, he so desperately wants to sound like a car guy, which I'm not a car guy. But like, you yeah, know, like to, truck. The, to the point where he's like abbreviating Range Rover to range as if to say like, I say Range Rover so much. I, I need to save time on this. Yeah. But then like, you know, he goes to like a Porsche came in S and instead he just goes and the Porsche and a Porsche. My <laughs> favorite, a Porsche. My also, favorite, a Porsche. I mean, look, we know they didn't pay for these themselves, which um, is fine. But I guess it's like, what, are they is this showing that like the the frat's got some good, cool guys with taste in it? Or like, I don't know what, what they want yeah, to achieve. Is it, or is it like, hey, we all come from money here? Is that? You'll the, be safe here. The dog uh, whistle? I have yeah. no idea. I genuinely have no idea. Yeah, there's... Maybe. Oh, is he going to start it up for him? Right at the gym, get a little pump in real quick. Oh, he's going to the gym to get a little pump in right quick. Oh, this gotcha. Is, this is really 
Oh my god. It was <laughs> with this while they're doing burnouts, they do a shot to some mopeds as well. Like some mopeds parked on the fucking grass. And the best part is you can I also tell that the footage is sped up. Like <laughs> it didn't actually make that much. It's not zero to sixty yeah, in that yeah. fucking and, quick. And also because the audio is carrying over multiple cars, it's a sound effect. Like yeah, they're right. just putting sound effects the, <laughs> because they're like, hey, how, how come this burnout isn't making the cool the sound? Actually, from, just like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like why, why doesn't it sound like Tokyo Drift, bro? Why doesn't it sound like Tokyo Drift? <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Oh, it totally is. Oh, oh, oh my god, <laughs> dude. And then they finish the car sequence with a dude trying to do a wheelie on a moped. <laughs> and like he's wearing shorts and thongs and no shirt. <laughs> and nearly and you can see him, like they've clearly tried to get as much of the wheelie footage as possible. Oh no, no, he's got little shoes on, sorry. Oh, stupid shoes And then like Right at the end He kind of loses control He has control, to use his feet To get back. To his feet To stabilise <laughs> R.I.P. Your red shoes buddy Yes sir uh, he, oh, he knows it in his face I reckon He lost control of that Yeah m- Like A second after Look at that posture He's That like... is terrible <laughs> Dude, that moped has got away from you. Cause like, I don't reckon he's gonna like let go with his right hand. Yeah. Oh, do they do they drive with the left on a moped? Is oh, that, maybe. I don't know America. Yeah. I <laughs> yeah. Don't know. I wonder if it's backwards. Cause. Yeah. You know. Yeah, the roads is the other side. Yeah. What was up with that? Southern Hemisphere pride. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I think this just this shows yeah. their room, and oh. like the oh. room is what you'd expect. Oh, my room. Couple TVs. The president's room. What? What's up, guys? I'm Clark Roman. I'm the current president here at Pike Out Alpha. It can be a pretty tough job controlling 200 plus alpha males. It's pretty hectic around here. Oh my god! Okay, it. if if the sound mix and <laughs> the lack of microphone <laughs> <laughs> didn't get that, <laughs> Clark, the president <laughs> of Pike. Has told us that, yeah, it can be a pretty tough job looking after 200 plus alpha males. That's, yeah. That, then let's go to the, let's go to the courtyard the now. Call the courtyard. Um, we're just hanging out, getting a tan. So sometimes it gets kind of crazy. <laughs> New frames need analyzing. Yeah, yeah, the, the warp the stabilizer. <laughs> All right, so we're basically a lot of, a lot of Nell watching here. Yeah, like a lot of sort of party footage, people just being silly, having yeah. a good time. Lots of women. Lots of lots of women. Thank yeah, God. that's what we've got. In the cars, courtyard, Zegan's room, and my room. You've seen all you need to see. I don't care where you go. Go to Publix. Go down the street to the strip. Just get out of here. And go no. And then we end with Clark, Mike McCoy, and Zap in the front. Clark, the president, gives us some ele- like illegible speech. Yeah. And then the freaking eighty topless dudes in the background go. Final judgment. So if you haven't listened to the podcast before, the final judgment is where we ask: Is this proof that God is dead? What we've just seen, and I got to ask Pike House. <laughs> There's so many things going on here. Like it's sort of not even like that exists outside the internet. They just filmed it. Like, but I think the I think the filming and making it a segment is like pretty funny. It's clearly like it's almost just an ad. We watched, <laughs> yeah, yeah, really, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. an ad made by kids. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can't criticize the fact that these guys wanted to make a video about yeah. their house. They like it, and they probably got a lot of people invested into the bike yeah. chapter. And there was a moment where I sort of like, yeah, you know, how you can tap into different modes of being. And in God is Dead, I'm sort of like my cynical, sassy self. But yep. then, like, as I was watching that, there was a clip where I was like, okay, Cam, you've got, you got like, you know, there's like, <laughs> you know, when people are like, hey, man, I'm one eighth X. Yeah. Like, I'm like, yeah, I can tap into my bro self and like yeah, try yeah. to see it from my bro lens. Well, it'd be so, pretty cool to like walk into a room where like everyone's playing video games and you can just like chill. Dude, with and you've got multiple and, like, TVs and one's got like sport and everyone's drinking beers and you're all just having yeah. a good time. I, I, I kind of felt that. I kind of uh, felt I'm, that. I'm down for that a lot of, lot of the time. Yeah. Um, so I'm not criticizing, I guess, the concept of fraternity, the fact it's a fraternity or the fact that they've made the video. Yeah. Let's talk about the style of the video though. <laughs> the goddamn style. The arrogance, dude. The arrogance. And it's also like, like we have to watch this with the lens that they thought this was going to go out to everybody. And they thought everyone would be like, you are 
epic. Can I ask a genuine question that goes back to like 2002? Yeah. Why are so many like house tours filmed so antagonistically? <laughs> it's always like, yeah, welcome. All right. So see that? Don't touch it. This is actually where I get my shit done all day because I'm a fucking... And then at the end, they always end with like, now get the fuck out of here. But if you really think about it, so many of these house tours, like MTV Crib, all this stuff, and that one, it's so like, oh, yeah, like... Be, be intimidated by this awesomeness mm, mm, and and mm. I don't know what that genre is and why we have it but it's always with a flash transition as well yeah. <laughs> everything's white and uh. now we're in the room with the skate park god damn man um mm. I I think that yeah that maybe maybe it's it's something to do with like you know uh, clearly MTV Cribs has been reappropriated and like this is just like the next thing we all loved MTV Cribs right everybody loved MTV Cribs yeah. yeah, it was curious and interesting So what's missing? Why does it feel so, you know Why does it feel so kind of soulless? I mean, we can't knock them as, They're not professional fucking the people, presenters The people who had the cribs on MTV Cribs Also had charisma And there were celebrities with like X Factor and yeah, like they were, yeah, yeah, people you that know, you actually cared about People that have like are paid to have an X Factor mm, 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 Yeah I also feel like the majesty of like Pike House Is the outside of it Yes. Like it looks really cool when you can actually see the outside, but the inside's in depressing. Actually, yeah, it's kind of like a dorm. Like There's like brown red lights. Yeah, like, yeah. It's like nothing to write home about. But then, yeah, you have like the the three most, no, four most, like wallpaper humans trying to talk you through a pretty boring place. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe you guys want to retaliate, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we want to start a little beef. Well, this was, dude. This was unfortunately. You got to keep in mind. This was like what 2015. They're probably like. Vice president now, oh, like yeah, that's what that so shit true, leads so to. True. They're like the, yeah. the CEO of an oil company. Or yeah, yeah, they become that. <laughs> they. <sighs> Sorry, bit of a spicy moment from me. While it would be interesting to get into the dynamics of that, we're not going to. We're not talking about frats. We're talking about this, this video, video in particular. Yeah. Um, and yeah, has having not been in a frat, this video doesn't make me want to join one. <laughs> I, I actually think the tour had potential. I think there's aspects there. If it was just done differently, I'd probably would like it. I think, it's, yeah, the production It's just value. so like, it just, it's not like, hey, we cannot wait to, oh, well, it's not really an ad. It's like a flex. It's, it's, it's more allowed to be a flex. Yeah, the yeah, other, yeah. Maybe it's a shot fired to other frats. I don't know. Cause it's not very like, hey, you sound awesome. Come on over and I'll show you. We'd love to have you as part of our yeah, team. Yeah, I think they're trying to brag. I think it's sort of in the style of like a rap video, you know, where someone's like, hey, man, I got everything. Look at all this like, you know, like ostentatious shit around me. Yeah. I, I'm a fucking winner. Yeah. And like, yeah, then everybody loves me, right? That's how it works. Is that, is that, am I doing the math then? I mean, you're definitely nailing like, Americans, I guess. <laughs> like maybe it's just Americans. Again. Yeah, is that is that basically all this episode is? Is it just you and me being like super racist against Americans? <laughs> <laughs> I oh, it, Pike is Pike a fucking race? Like apparently there's, there's, there's that many fucking people in, in the Pikes around the country that like maybe I can just hear our listeners being like, no, 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 that's Florida, that's frat culture, it's not us. You're not talking about us, right? Yeah, I'm, I have I'm, a knitting company in yeah, Wisconsin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cam, didn't you live in Minnesota? Yes, I did. It's a beautiful place, and I was part of the second biggest fraternity, <laughs> <laughs> Minnesota Kappa <laughs> M chapter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, um, I was part of. Oh, Sorry, the camera cut out there after I was ripping on their camera work. But I had a thought while I was changing over the batteries and what have you. And that is, I actually think God's alive. Because mm. I think in the same... Okay, so you know the story of the Rosetta Stone? I mean, that it was like an old thing they drew on. They, drew, <laughs> they wrote the rules on or something. <laughs> yeah, pretty It was much. the first iPad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically that. They gave it to the two-year-olds at the dinner table. No, so the Rosetta Stone, yeah. what it, it, it was basically a stone that was like translation. So they got the duolingo on basically and it allowed them to read hieroglyphics and it, and it translated them to sort of like, I don't know, like some of the Greek texts or whatever, like uh, from the Phoenicians. Or, I don't know. I don't know. I'm in semi-fact zone, but basically it was a translation tool that opened up a whole entire world of history. And I think it's really cool to, like when we do, to a historical take on what the world was like in 2016 to have these unadulterated Rosetta Stones. So not things like us, not us commenting on it, although this is a decent little, you know, like translation device, but like a translation device for our grandchildren, you know what I mean? Who are like, hey, I would love to see a snapshot of the mid uh, of the mid 2010s American douchebag. Do you know what I mean? And it's just so nice to have it preserved. It's like a museum, man. Yeah, and actually in the most heart, like in a way that they're not kind of 
dissing anyone. It's actually they're they're in their element and their guard is down. So it's actually an even more real sociological story because they, like I said at the very start of the case, they're not trying to be funny no. or weird or like intimidating or they actually think it's a pretty cool. Um, display and and showcase of <laughs> what happens at Pike Chapter, and you know that is actually really beneficial for our future generations because there's no it's going to be a lot harder to study like you know TikTok because that's also performative and it's mm. like YouTube is so performative in so many ways it's like you know trying to learn about early internet culture by watching Ray William Johnson mm. who's like the Deadpool of YouTubers mm. in, in some ways mm. no offense Ray I know you did a lot of great stuff too but um. You know what I mean? It's very sort of, <laughs> hey guys, like, and and yeah. that's not real. This is actually real. This is the primary source. Yeah, yeah. So that's probably it, dude. God's actually alive. And I think yeah, they're getting fewer and further between as people become more literate online. Dude, yeah, no one's presenting raw shit online. That's no. why videos go viral, like the dog face guy with the cranberry juice skateboarding, mm. because that was not him trying to be funny or yeah. memey or viral. Just, we're all just starved for sincerity. And if yeah. I have to turn to Pike House to get it, so be it. So be it. Yeah, God's alive. God's alive, baby. Oh man, definitely a journey into the unknown. I almost kind of feel like I want to go get a pump. Yeah, dude, we should go get a pump. Let's get a pump. Yeah, in, we should man. go get Just a pump. One, I'll take the Porsche. Bro, should we rack lines of protein powder? Oh yes, and I'll do a wheelie on the scooter first, actually, <laughs> and fall off. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's sick, dude. I'll take you to the protein room, dude. That's sick. That's one of the rooms in my house. Yeah, I got a protein basic room. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's protein, but I wear, you know, the, the, the uniform. <laughs> yeah, nice chinos. Yeah, hey, um, thanks. thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks for doing all that you do for us we really appreciate it hey um if you're not if you're here on youtube just click subscribe do it yeah and if you're not subscribed to the podcast do that tell a friend show them link them to spotify link them however you listen and let them know if you think they might like something like this in their life we upload every single monday and do it really sincerely like walk up to them put a hand on their shoulder give them that look that maybe a doctor is going to give you when you know and uh then say listen to god is dead yeah i've noticed you've been off lately i think you might need this in your life yeah potentially you know yeah it could be a move so truthless <laughs> online is at truthless 69 bryce is at bryce v mills you know that's across different platforms don't think that's just one <laughs> go do your research <laughs> get on Flickr, baby <laughs> photo bucket <laughs> <laughs> love you, oh, love you. Case closed.